Meet Salem. Salem is a giant schnauzer that we got about three months ago. I still can't believe how little she is in these videos. We brought her to our little farm in Arizona so that she could help guard the farm and scare off any predators. Right away, we introduced her to the chickens, little piglets, and all the different goats. She still had a little bit of learning to do. Right away, we started taking her around to all of our chores, and unexpectedly, she sort of fell in love with one of our piglets, Elsa. They sure have a funny relationship. She bites back. They kinda get, they kinda go, get in a fight. <laughs> like how Elsa used to do with all her sins. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> She's like biting on her softly and the pig likes it. <laughs> So now that Salem has a good amount of training under her belt and she's pretty used to our routine, we thought we'd show you a day in her life on our farm. Are you ready? <laughs> Nurse Dora too. Did you wake up too? Hello. Okay, just a minute. Good morning. Gotta give all the licks, man. Okay. Let's go do the chores. Come on. Morning milking is probably her most favorite time because she gets to sniff all the different animals and get a little squirt of milk. First, we have to let out all the goats and the first one out is Big Luna. Next up is all the littles and some of them are a little unsure about this big puppy, <laughs> but they're slowly getting used to her. We only have these last two babies left on the farm and they're a little bit scared of Big Salem. Her little tail wags because she's so excited to be with them, although they're a little bit afraid of her. Now it's time to watch Lydia milk Fern and wait for the hopefully a little squirt. Salem, sit. Good, but that's too far now. <laughs> now she can have a squirt of milk. Okay. Salem. You are too late. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Oh, yes. It took us a long time to get Salem to not lunge after the goats as they went up and down the ramp. It's really just that puppy behavior where she wants to play with them. But now they safely can switch <laughs> and she doesn't lunge at all. That was so good. Next up is her very important job of sniffing each goat to make sure that everything is in order. Winnie doesn't really like it. Getting Salem friendly with chickens was really important to us because we didn't want to do all this work and then all of a sudden introduce a predator to our chickens. But I'm happy to say that Salem has done amazing. She has never tried to get after a chicken. She's been so used to them from day one that I'm confident when she's a full adult, she'll do just fine. Plus there's fun eggs to sniff and lick. Chickens are awesome. Next up, it's a visit to the buck pen because they're the smelliest, so they're the most fun to sniff. And finally, when we're all done, if Salem sits and stays, then she gets a little splash of raw goat's milk. Stay. Sometimes we have to start over again because she releases the stay before we say it's okay. I'm not going to Okay. There you go. And guys, even though the chores only takes us, ooh, about 15 minutes, Salem is exhausted. Are you tired after all those chores? Yeah. <laughs> you like to sleep right there on the tile, huh? We have Salem tethered to the wall so she can't, you know, explore too much. And she can either sleep in her cage on her little hammock or she can come sleep on her soft bed right here. But she chooses to sleep on the floor. 
It's nice and cool, huh? <laughs> and she sleeps and sleeps and sleeps all morning long while we clean up breakfast and Lydia does school. She still sleeps. I thought you said puerto. Corto. Corto? That means you cut something? No. It means I cut or it means short. I tried to catch her because she had the little she had the little stuffed animal in her mouth. <laughs> and she was sleeping. Was that so fun? <laughs> yeah. Once she finally wakes up, she gets to come out and do fun jobs with me and Kevin. Well, wait, we gotta do a potty break first. Today we have a fun job in the garden with the onions. You guys, I have worked so hard to learn how to get bold onions. And uh, I finally did it. Now they're not huge, but I call this a success, especially in Arizona. You guys know how much I love my onions. So what we're gonna do today is pull all of these out and let them cure outdoors for about three days, and then we'll bring them inside. I'm not sure I'll be able to store them because Arizona makes it really hard to store things. Our kitchen's just always so dang hot. Now normally you would say, Danelle, just let them grow bigger, but when they develop these little heads, this is a flower, and once this flower blooms, it's gonna create onion seeds. And when this happens, that means that the onions are done. They're not gonna get any bigger than they already are now. In fact, they're just gonna get less flavorful. So, we gotta pick them. So now we just wait for these to cure. They're gonna get more of a papery skin on the outside and be a little bit easier to store in the kitchen. Come on, we're all done. Good girl. Later on, Salem loves to go get Ethan from school. Okay, come on. Good girl, good girl. All right, Salem, you ready to go? Let's go. It's safe to say that Salem is in love with Ethan. Kevin's out here working on a project and she's just so excited to see him. And she's just... <laughs> oh, she loves you. She misses you. Training time with the chickens and pig. I think she's doing pretty good. Maybe a little chicken poop for the wear. making dinner tonight. It's such a busy, crazy day. So this is one of my very fast dinners and I've got Salem who is being so patient because she really wants pets right now, but she knows I'm not gonna pet her while I'm making dinner. You're so sweet. I cooked up a huge pork roast and then quickly went to the store and got some corn tortillas, coleslaw, so like I could have a little cabbage on the top, some avocados, some salsa. We're gonna make some really quick tacos. So the Instant Pot cooked it nice. It doesn't look very appetizing, but it's really tender. So I'm gonna shred that up and then we'll put this whole thing together. Are you wanting to go potty? Come here, Salem. Salem, let's go outside then, okay? Okay, come on. She loves to run out and run around the pond. She's got to go potty, but she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna go see what you're doing first. You love being outside. She's gonna go walk around the pond. Her favorite spot is up there. Oh, she's got to go potty first. Her favorite spot is up here by the waterfall. Watch, she's gonna go right to it. Yup, that's what I thought. 
Now that Salem is getting older and she's a lot more trained, we've been taking her off leash and letting her have some free time, which is really fun to see what she chooses to do. She already knows that the carpet is off limits, but while I'm sitting here finishing up dinner, she just, you know, goes around in circles, sniffs everything. It's adorable. So Salem's day is a combination of hanging around Kevin or me or Lydia and just following us do the chores all day. So whether we're cleaning out the pens or milking the animals or cooking even inside, Salem is with us all the time. Which at first was really hard because she would pee everywhere constantly and so it was harder to have her inside but now she's a lot better. And then after a whole day of chores, it's time for bed, huh? You take off your little leash. Take off your harness. Okay. And then you can go that to bed. Huh. Okay. Alright. Go to bed. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Good night, Salem. We love you. You're such a good girl. Good night. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you want to watch the video when we first brought Salem home as a puppy, click right here.